Now previously I did a video on how to calculate basal metabolic rate and the example I gave was for me, uh, which is a guy. Um, so I think it's only fair that I now do one for a girl. So I've gone back to my Harris-Benedict equation. But instead of this first one here, which is for guys, I'm gonna use the one for girls. So uh, let's use a made up example. Um, let's do um, Jennifer Lawrence. Um, don't know why that name just pops into my head, but Jennifer Lawrence, um, let's, let's say um, she's come to me. She said, um, John, can you calculate my basal metabolic rate? Of course, Jennifer. Right, let's go 655 plus, 9.6 times weight in kilos. Okay, so I'm gonna to have to ask you a rude question, Jennifer. How much do you weigh? 60 kilos, okay, not too bad. Right, let's do that then. So, no, oh, 9.6 times 60 equals 576. Uh, let's add that 65 on plus the 655 equals 1,200. Oh, ah! 1,231. A bit, bit dramatic today, aren't I? I don't know why. 1,231. It's all that talk of Jennifer Lawrence. Now, according to the equation, we've got to add on plus 1.8. Times height in centimeters. So, um, how tall are you, Jennifer? Oh, you're uh, 165 centimeters taller. Okay, cool, thanks. So, 1.8 times 165 centimeters equals 297. So we add that to that, one, two, three, one, plus two, nine, seven, equals 1,528. Now we're gonna adjust this uh, for the last bit, which is gonna make it age specific now. So we take off 4.7 times age. Okay, how old are you, Jennifer? Was that 32? Okay, <laughs> check all this later. I'm gonna Google it all because I have no idea how tall she is, how much she weighs, or how old she is. Um, 4.7 times age. So let's do 4.7. What did I say 32? 4.7 times 32 equals 150.4. So now we've got to take that off. 1528 minus 150.4 equals 1,377.6 calories. That is Jennifer Lawrence's basal metabolic rate. You heard it here first.